Hey, welcome back. We're looking at Atlanta is ours. We're attempting to play a fairly robust scenario that has a significant number of turns. And we'll see how we do and how far we get uh, in the operating stages of turn one. And there are a number of special rules for turn one. Units can move and do things and only move in certain areas or so long or whatever the case may be. You know, units can't come past this 1300 line, for instance, and only these these units over here. Uh, this is Hood's group near Osaka can uh, move uh, in the uh, for free, basic, basically, in the opening turn. They, they're still going to accumulate fatigue and stuff. But anyway, the, the overall situation is kind of prickly for the Confederate rebel forces. You've got... Uh, a set of uh, fortified positions around Dalton here and the main Western Railroad the kind of angles away here let's see if I can zoom out a little bit there we go uh, so it uh, angles away down through to Rosaka but uh, there's so there's a large force here of, of Union units that will uh, you know be uh, potentially assaulting into this area and, and trying to capture Dalton as one of the first steps towards pushing on to Atlanta, obviously, historically what happened, well, I want to say obviously, what I found out when I set it up, was uh, McPherson here had a group of forces that's pretty much well out of range from Sherman, which is going to cause some sort of cohesion issue, which is how we stop the uh, Union forces from just running off going anywhere. They basically have to be or stay within eight hexes of Sherman. So. That's kind of the, the leash on, on the forces. <clears throat> now, um, what, so what we did initially, uh, what we're looking at from a strategic standpoint anyway, or tactically, I guess, for, for the operations that we're going to run through here, is that, uh, you know, the, uh, the USA or Union forces are looking to, you know, have the sort of OCS style, cut the rail line, put these guys uh, in and around Dalton, which is a major portion of the Confederate Army, put the CSA out of supply. And that seems to be what uh, McPherson was trying to do here anyway. It looks like he was headed towards uh, Rosaka or somewhere around one of these ferry locations that, that, are, that are down here. Uh, this is the Ustanula or Aula River. Uh, a large major river that uh, winds its way higgledy piggledy around uh, from Rosaka all the way down through to uh, Rome, Georgia. It's a very long, windy river. Let me just show you back up here, right? So you can see that there. There's Rosaka, and then over here is Dalton. And so, what I'm hoping to do with, you know, tactically, I guess, if, uh, from a a planning perspective is push these forces either at Rosaka or just block the railroad uh, in front of it if I can't take these guys on. I'm going to get these guys back in supply and or within this cohesion range so maybe we need to move Sherman. But that was the general plan and ideally I'd like to try and get some units situated across the river sooner rather than later even if they end up being out of supply and it'd be nice to try and get uh, you know this hex here right where uh, Iverson is and uh, and capture that right ideally now for the confederate side you know we gotta eva I, I don't you know they build a lot of fortifications here all these units here are fortified or have breastworks or whatever the case may be they're all on off map charts and things in force buckets but basically it looks like they wanted to make a stand here, but I don't see the point in trying to make a stand given that you've got McPherson's forces right there breathing down your throat, right? So all of this Confederate force really in some sort of staged manner needs to make an exit uh, east, I guess. And those two fortified locations you can see right there, uh, turn one, the red block unit can't be attacked or can't, uh, we can't enter into that hex at the very least anyway. I've got to check to see if it can be attacked. Uh, then, uh, let's see. So those two locations seem pretty important and they're also amongst the weakest. So we're trying to work out as the Confederates how I can reinforce those two hexes 
so that the rest of the units west of Dalton can make an exit, right? Now, uh, in, in the opening activations, Hood, uh, as I said, got to move uh, units one after the other uh, up to the limit he desired. He's moved some forces around a little bit, but really wasn't a whole lot that he wanted to do necessarily. So then moved on to uh, the next phase uh, of initiative die rolling and all that sort of fun, next uh, activation phase. And we activated McPherson's forces and pushed this uh, Dodge uh, and this, the 16th Corps Commander Dodge with a division here, uh, VTAC or Veach's uh, division with 10 steps, uh, 10 strength points. He pushed on down uh, to towards the ferries that I mentioned earlier here. Here are the ferries here, right? Uh, trying to trying to get over one of these ferries if we can, or at least be in a position to go over one or build a pontoon bridge in the future. Who knows? In the mean, meanwhile, we pushed up some cavalry. Uh, oh, what happened? Did I bump these? Uh, Murray, I believe. Let me just check my notes here because I made notes. Yeah. Murray got pushed up into the Snake Creek Gap here. Uh, small cavalry formation, just in case Allen or the forces underneath Allen Heinemann's very large 14 steps of strength there, in case they try to do something silly. Uh, and then the rest of Kirkpatrick's cav moved down the pocket along the Horn Mountain range here and looking to you know, threaten eastward or northeast here to support McPherson and then I guess the next thing we're going to do is potentially uh, move Sherman so that at least some of these guys can get uh, some of these guys down here can get into uh, get into the into range of Sherman uh, so it's an interesting little uh, little exercise going on here I'm just trying to get the camera back in the stand. Okay, so uh, we just rolled a double six, and that means that the Confederates get the initiative, so they're gonna have a move, and we'll come, we'll check back in in a little bit, and we'll, we'll try and do, what I'm hoping to do here is to do a series of two and three minute videos, maybe, of activations and what happens, and we'll just kind of, kind of track along from there uh, subject to uh, level of interest and, and my, my ability to remember what the hell I did the five minutes ago. All right, talk to you soon.